Yeah, Jordan, how are we looking over the next 24 hours? Yeah, here? well, we'll see. We will see some changes over the next 24 hours, but it's not going to be another major snowstorm necessarily. Okay. Um, but we will see a bigger storm coming in Monday night into Tuesday. So we'll talk about both of those. So right now, what's uh, closer in time for us is this winter weather advisory. So this starts at four o'clock this afternoon because this first system is going to be moving in first as in I know we had one yesterday, but first as in moving forward now, right? So this one is actually going to be moving in this afternoon and evening. It'll hit the coast first and then push inland. And so a lot of the models were showing the accumulations uh, kind of really staying in the south sound. It is showing moisture though pretty much anywhere in this purple, really anywhere in Washington at this point in Western Washington. So but within this area of purple, we could see anywhere from a trace to four inches. So it's not necessarily just the South Sound. OK, so let's put the clock into motion here. We could see winds anywhere from five to 15 miles per hour, but we're not looking at a big wind event with this one. Notice it's pretty nice through lunchtime. Actually, we may see a few clouds starting to move in, but still relatively dry, right? Maybe a couple spotty uh, light flurries as we push into lunchtime along the uh, coast, but then as we get into about five o'clock or even dinner time, we'll start to see some of those showers pushing on shore. And again, we are looking at snow showers. This is this isn't show the precipitation type. It's just showing the moisture and the wind. So again, not everybody dealing with it at the same time. We will have some breaks kind of built in with with this system and notice as we get into later tonight that actually already is starting to move out. So this looks to be anywhere from about a five to six hour system versus an all day event uh, if everything goes as planned, right? And then as we go into tomorrow, we will see those changes once again, but again, the second half of the day kind of similar to today. So the first part for your early morning commute, you might want to watch out for some slick conditions on the roads, but for active snowfall, we're not really looking at that yet for your morning commute. Maybe a couple flurries, but notice the moisture really coming in for that afternoon and evening commute. So if you could take uh, Monday again to uh, stay home or maybe get off early, that would be great. And then as we get into Monday night, it continues off and on throughout the night. You see those bands just continuing. And that's where we say it's kind of hard to determine how much each place is going to get because you see some moisture uh, comes in with the moisture comes in with those bands, but some of those bands have more moisture than other bands. And it really just depends on where that all sets up. So what this model is saying is that from now until tonight, you can see anywhere from a trace to about two inches and that's through about seven, eight o'clock. But then as we get into overnight, we add more and then we add more through tomorrow morning, but then we get that break from tomorrow morning to tomorrow night and then tomorrow night. I mean, boom, just like that. We're already back into the four to eight inch range. So Monday night into Tuesday morning, that winter storm watch will be in effect and that is going to be four to eight inches potential in this area of blue. Okay. So today we're getting a little bit of a break this morning. Dry with sun breaks, increasing snow from the south tonight uh, and also from the west. Trace to four inches with this first system. The next one Monday night into Tuesday looking at four to eight inches. So plan ahead, guys. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Notice we start to warm up as we get into the end of the week, so we could see a rain snow mix on Friday, but notice by Saturday we could actually start to dry things out.